Was ist das Ding Sound? I'm sitting next to Rafik. Mr. Rafik, how are you? I'm doing well. Rafik has a beam swap Nissan champ, but before I go further, um, you can probably see he's holding his phone by his mouth, and I've got a microphone over here. Mm. This car is extremely loud. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to monitor the audio so that um, um, it's not going to blow, blow out of proportion, not distort for you guys. So if you can't hear him, I recommend just try and turn your volume up a bit. It's going to be the only way to compensate now for how flipping amazing this car sounds. So it's not such a bad thing. Yeah. And Rafik, <laughs> um, how long did this car take to build? Apparently it didn't take that long to build. No, it didn't take long to build, mm. um, but it was like over years, mm -hmm. upgrades, mm. Um, upgrading the falling suspension, mm. things like that. But um, yeah. I see you got a uh, hectic yes, the suspension <laughs> at the back. Oh, it looks stunning. And did you do that yourself, you and your father? Um, actually, it was my friend and I. Mm. Um, he built the brackets and everything, and the, the, all the bars and everything mm. was done by a friend. If you guys want to see him really yerking the car, um, I'm going to put a video out of that, but also you guys can check out the vlog um, that came out uh, Monday. Um, I'll put a link to the top for you guys. Okay, let's get going. Okay. So it's a bit of a procedure here. Yeah? Okay, I am in first gear. Yeah, no, just tap it once. Here we go. I like your instrument cluster. <laughs> that looks so cool. As it going, I am a little bit nervous. I haven't driven um, a car that's this like intense yet with this type of modifications done, and this is his pride and joy. And his brother's often driving this car around as well. Okay, yeah, uh, this will take a lot of getting used to. Rafik, so tell me, um, what power, uh, what, what's been all done to the engine? Nothing's been done to the engine. It's a standard dual beams engine. Um, it, it's, so to say, it's all just surrounding mods um, with throttles, uh, TRD flywheel, TRD clutch, and then obviously suspension of the bucky. Um, further than that, nothing has been done to the engine. What's the, your best quarter mile time on the score? When I started the 1400 suspension in, yeah. and 1400 diff, on rundown semis, uh, did 13.4. Now with I, n I never ran it for time with the suspension in um, and obviously a proper set of tires. Sorry, it smells bad here. <laughs> I almost thought it was him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna be at the MSA coming up now? Um, I don't think so. Um, we're busy with the other project, so that's actually why I am selling the bucket. You are, he told yeah. me this last time, so when we first met to actually uh, feature this car. 
He told me that he's in a salad. Um, dude, this car has a hell of a lot of money in it, no? Yeah, definitely. But like I say, um, I had my enjoyment. I don't want to cut it up to make it faster. So that's why I'd rather sell it off as is. And what price is that that you want for it? <laughs> um, the price, and I think it's a steal. I'm selling it for 75,000. I thought you were going to say 150. <laughs> uh, like what I spend, I should ask way more. Of course. But um, I just practically need to get, get it out of the way. I don't want it to stand yeah. um, so that I can continue the following project. Yeah. Okay, so you've also got full coilovers in this car yeah coilovers front and back fitted to the suspension the front coilovers were pretty much straightforward fit okay. um, and believe it or not there's Toyota 20 valve coilovers in front and Toyota 20 valve coilovers at, in the rear and it's uh, Runex RSI brake calipers front and back and that's the thing as well what him and I was saying like, a lot of the guys modify but they don't uh, worry about the brakes at least this car has the upgraded brakes. Do you tell me what kilowatt this car made? It's down on power at the moment. Um, it needs to go in for a tune. Um, haven't tuned it in a while. Uh, did a power run. It's on 150 kilowatt. That's, um, I've never tuned it on fuel. It's always been tuned on um, straight pump fuel. It should make like your, at least another 10 kilowatt more. Oh. Another 10 kilowatt, 15 kilowatt. But um, yeah, I'm happy with the power and the way the buck is driving at the moment. And how much torque did it make? It made around 2, 240, 250 newton meters. Motors aren't bad, no. they're actually no. very reliable as well. Believe it or not, I haven't even replaced a, a gasket on this engine. Oh. I haven't, I just, the only thing I replace is spark plugs and oil. I As think that this motor makes stock like 160 Yeah, 160 one to, to yeah. 170 kilowatt Okay, so I'm going to do a mild pull just want to see how the gears feel before I really start getting in on it Because I don't know what these gears feel like <laughs> Oh, there's a one-way thing happening <laughs> modify it because um, in the standard state it is it has a lot of nice things in it already with yeah, um, yes, yes. titanium valves oh, nice. um, things like that but it can work out quite costly yeah. I don't know if you if you know Tian yeah, yeah, he actually yeah. modified went further with the motor yeah. but the results weren't and yeah that's what I mean yeah. it's, and it's quite costly Guys, the car is moving around a 
Wind is very strong. Yeah, the car is moving around, but I'm a little bit nervous. down low mm -hmm. you can feel the difference of the vvt's so you didn't go the locked um the locked route where they locked the vvt in one place no 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 both is actually working but it's a bit down on power now because of um like just normal maintenance stuff okay cool i've driven a lot of naturally aspirated cars but the way this thing like our all over the place is power it's not like it's only on top, only at the bottom. It's from from low end, it doesn't stop pulling till red line. I like, and I think that's what the VBT is doing. It's, yeah. it's keeping that cam where it needs it the most. Definitely. Does it does it um, pull a lot of timing on hot hot days? Because it is a bit warm today. Sometimes you can feel it's not pulling how it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. um, but when it is cold, it's, it's definitely at its best. Yeah. I freaking enjoyed myself. I'm I was very scared because I usually don't I usually don't like driving um such intense modified cars. Yeah. Because only you guys who drive the car on the daily know what the car how the car reacts over pumps and stuff like that. I don't. Yeah. So No but I think uh it has a lot to do with the suspension or something. Glad I upgraded it. Dude, whoever's gonna buy this car. He's gonna get a steal <laughs> at 75. Holy mother! There's there's Liberables. We're getting to a point now. It's a lot of eyes on the channel, yeah. and um, we I can't misbehave like I did in the past. <laughs> but it's still fun. Yeah, everything was done on a track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're in Mexico currently. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know where, what area we in now. <laughs> I'll be going to his house with the close off at his house because I'm going to show you guys like the engine quickly and stuff before we close the video off. Okay, so this is his uh, beam setup. Uh, uh, Rafi, Carl, explain to me how did you get this motor in here? Well, what mounts and stuff did you all use? Yeah, the mounts, the brackets were made up us. We had to cut the firewall. Mm. So the whole firewall was made from scratch. Mm. Um, but further than that, uh, it wasn't a long process actually the footman mm -hmm. yeah to make up the mounts and that we knew what what we had to do so yeah 
It looks damn neat though. <laughs> like damn, damn neat. I'm glad. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Check out Rafik on his different social media platforms. He's not actually on social media. I don't know why I said <laughs> that. And the getting gear. <laughs> <laughs> you yes. have to just check on the getting a, gear. You own a Motorspace business, no? Not Motorspace, Motorspace? Uh, Gearbox RP. And yeah. Gearbox sells, yeah. My brother actually got a few stuff from him for his 3 GTE. Yeah. Um, as one, they do hectic work on gearboxes. And my ears are sticking out because my cap looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can find all this information down in the description box below as long as his email address. Do you have an email? Yeah. For if you are interested in the sale of this car. We didn't do the video just to sell the car, guys. I actually did the video because I really wanted to see what this car was about. Yeah. It just so happens that the car is for sale. So if anyone's interested, you guys can contact me via email. I obviously can't put his phone number um, on this video. Um, because I get prank called, I gave my number to someone. <laughs> really? Someone must have leaked it and people's like prank calling me all the time. <laughs> And anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, um, check out other videos by Liberable. B3BU, Liberable, Liberable out. out.